There are times when Monica becomes so frustrated or angry about something that she totally loses control, especially with her sister. When that happens, even I struggle to keep calm and then we're all in it together and that really doesn't work. One thing I've learned is that giving my child a time out can really help them learn to manage their feelings. It's important to talk to your child first about what will happen when they go to time out at a time when things are calm. If they understand when, how and why they are having a time out, it will help them to cope better when they do need it. Monica, it's okay to get upset, but it's not okay to pull Nina's hair. So, when this happens, you will go to time out, which is over here. You will sit quietly and take some deep breaths. Then, when I can see that you're calm, you will come back and play. Time out should be very brief, as one of the aims of time out is to give your child a chance to try again as soon as possible. Right, like we said, it's not okay to pull Nina's hair. Go to time out. Time out aims to give children a chance to be removed from a situation that has become overwhelming for them. It gives them a chance to gain control over very big emotions. Time out is also a good chance for parents to manage their emotions too. But as soon as time out is over, it's time to move on. I can see you're calm now, Monica. You can come and help finish making this building with us. Of course, that makes it look really easy. And in real life, it doesn't go that smoothly straight away. It's worth persisting though.